Yo, what's wrong guys? It's Kaden or Teleporting Zone here back in the video. And today we are here with my uh draft analysis to team builder to my week one match for MLBA because I'm lazy and was too lazy. Like didn't want to make three multiple vids in one week. Or school and Christmas. Didn't really have too much time. So it's all together. On the final day. Uh this is like my fifth attempt recording this. I'm horrible. Um, so let's just get into it. So first off, I drafted Tapu Lele. I had the 10th, 9th spot in the draft. There's like 10 broken mons that I was considering wanting to get. Um, see like Genesect, Mega Metagross, Bloating Gen. Quite a lot of fun things in my opinion. So I went up picked up Tapu Lele because it was available. I went with it because not only is it like really strong, Specs or can build wall break and get through lots of teams with scarf, but because it also allows things like Mega House Sam, as you can see, the function under it and can sort of support a team as well with psychic terrain. So I thought it made it relatively good, and I've seen decent results with Epilale in the draft format before, so I thought I'd follow up with that and pick it up. Um, so then I went and got Mega House Sam. Jocks of Speed was also a thing. Alexam is 8 points less, as well as Psychic can just continuously be clicked, while Psycho Boost cannot, right, because you lose your 2 attack. Uh, not really much other distance. 8 points is quite a bit, though, because Tapu Lele was 24. Like, that's a lot more points. The rest of my team would be a lot worse otherwise. And after those two, I was looking at, like, Protean Gren, just building this super stacked offense. I went with Magnezone, because it trapped... Um, those pesky steel types that, like, Alakazam can have a little bit of trouble with. I'm not going to say he has a trouble with his Focus Blast exists, but we don't hit those. Lele has trouble with, to an extent. So, yeah, just supporting the Psychic's uh, brain idea there. Karina gives me removal as well as Grass type for the core. Um, way better than Delmai's. I'm sure Thelmaze's cost was 11, so one point more. But Serena, I prefer over Delmaze anyways. Ghost type doesn't really help too much, in my opinion, for Delmaze. And Serena can do a bit more than just rapid spinning and being somewhat offensive. It has synthesis. And it has, you know, more support type ideas than Delmaze, obviously, U turn and things like that. Um, Zorak. Not sure why I got Zorak, to be honest. Doesn't fit this team too well. <laughs> but Illusions and Aegans are always fun. And Zorak's always a Pokemon that I've enjoyed drafting. So even if Illusion doesn't come into play too often, it's still a decently powerful Pokemon. So it's not too big of a deal. So it gives me super fat, good speed tiers and stuff like that. So it's not horrible. Uh, Haxorus is my favorite dragon type Pokemon in the format. It has a, what, 147 base attack, which is huge. Moldbreaker fits it really well with Earthquake, allowing it to things like Rotom Wash, Gong Zong. So I feel like it works really well in the format. After a Swords Dance, not many teams have a switch in. Like something that just takes a hit. Uh, you have to have a Scarf thing to avenge it. At least in my opinion. Um, Raider Sword does the same thing. Except it's a water type. <laughs> and I have a lot of special attackers up here. So I want to go some physical attacking a little bit lower. Uh, so I got Gator. Obviously Dragon Dance, Sword Dance. Same sort of idea as Haxorus. Hit Monthly is my budget Alucha. Because someone took Alucha. Up there. Um, him only isn't bad at all though. Seven points and it functions pretty well on this psychic thing, to be honest. Um and also you know, fighting type helps Lele and Sam in general because it takes on steel types, takes on dark types. So it's not horrible in any way. Uh, Munchlax is the one wall of my team. <laughs> the one thing that can eat a a singular hit without dying. 
Uh, huge def, huge HP, not so good defense, but it's manageable. Especially with an Eviolite, it does work. Like Geo, uh, because I hate steel types still. Got two trappers, trapping those steel types. They will not exist versus this team. Uh, and then I got Semi Seer because I need a fire type. And Semi Seer is actually relatively good for a budget fire type. Has 101 speed, so it outspeeds base 100s. Pretty decent special attack. And some good coverage to go along with Nasty Plot. That's not horrible in any way. Probably my favorite budget fire type. I normally get my mortar over it because it's a little bit bulkier. But it's fun. So I started off for the. Oh, I guess I should show my opponent's team. Uh, so they have Mega Kanga, Clefable, Scizor, Arcanine, Caldeo, Delmize, Flygon, so nothing too good. Raichu, Sneasel, Eridos, Ponyo, and Monferno. So I didn't really expect, you know, these two to come. Not that good. Uh, I was sort of just figuring that he'd have to try and figure out an answer to Psychic Drain. I thought, you know, these first two would be coming to try and help take on Psychic Drain, and I wasn't really sure too much beyond that. Um... Yeah, those three made a lot of sense in my head. I'll try and take on my second terrain. Uh, cause, you know, bulky, bulky, bulky. <laughs> really, that's it. Um, just three broken bulk. Bonds, um... And I thought he'd try and get webs to try and slow me down as well, so I thought Aerodos was a potential bring. I thought webs made quite a bit of sense. I thought he'd bring, like, Aerodos and Delmize. Webs and then stopping Serena from rapid spinning. Potentially. Um, that's really his team. Uh, so if you look at what I brought, I start off with Tapu Lele. Take a terrain, obviously. It looks like it puts in the work with his team. It's just not a purely matchup based. He doesn't have a switch in. He really doesn't. Doesn't have a good revenge killer either. That's just matchup based. Psychic Terrain Sweeping was a good idea. Um, I bet Lele. Cream Soda. Totally looks like Cream Soda. Uh, we have Serena, which is totally an onion. Right? Uh, Sharp Kick, Synthesis, Rapids, when you can. An Assault Vest. Some people are going to start face palming, but he had a decent amount of knockoff users just in case Pawnyard came or got knocked off by Sneasel or whatever. Synthesis is something that can allow me to cover my HP back up if I don't have my Assault Vest to help take on more hits. I thought, it's not the worst thing in the world, I didn't really see what else to do there. High Jump Kick probably would have worked, but not that big of a deal. Uh, u turn to give me momentum. Trap Kick allows me to just lower attacks to things like Mega Kanga, Scizor, Physical Arcanine, Delmize, Flygon. Like, Works decently well to just lower your attacks to things to make them less of a threat. Uh, uh, Kazam for pretty obvious reasons. Quick Psychic, Quick Psychic, Quick Psychic. Not sure why I manage ball there. HP Fire makes more sense in every way of the form because they have a Scizor. It's not that big of a deal though. I, even though Energy Ball, it's literally nothing. It exists. Uh. We have Jackie Chan, Hitmonlee. Let that sing in for a sec. Jackie Chan, Hitmonlee. Oh, you're crying now. You can totally see it. No one likes my names. Uh, CC, knockoff, power punch, poison jab, psychic seed. Obviously, you know, once it lo loses its seed, loses the seeds. Uh, potentially get the power punch uh, versus some of his team if they're forced to switch out. And then CC knock off and B jab the rest of his team down. Looking back at it, Blaze Kick made more sense in this spot. Um, but I ran knock off because I don't care. Uh, Scarf Deck Trio to revenge kill pretty much his entire team. Like, it actually sort of beats the majority of his team itself. Um, and then Simi Seer again. Has a really solid matchup. Not much for these three coverage moves. Nasty plot. Uh, I'll boost its attack, special attack because it's not the highest. 
and fire MC top wall break, pass some of the threats. I guess we should get into the battle. Uh, here we go. Uh, we'll probably gain proper parameters on this later. I'm too lazy to make it actually fit for you guys. So you, you'll see it like this. Next week, I promise. Oh, we'll probably have a layout next week because I'm not doing it all in one. Um, so let's start off. So, I led Simi's here. Excellent matchup. The trio probably over just as well. I led Simi's here because I thought it pretty much put in the work. Focus blast, fire blast, fire blast, fire blast, fire blast, fire blast. Something along those lines. Um, and I thought Arios was a potential lead for him. So I just led this thing off. I went for Volt Switch immediately. And I was pretty sure I killed it Fire MZ Fire Blast. So I just clicked that, and you went into Critical Fable. Took 73%. It's a lot of damage on Critical Fable. And then he let me kill it with Fire Blast next turn. Does not have a switch in to take it anyways, so he would have had to sack off something. He goes in the Sneasel. I assume Knockoff was coming out, and I have the Psychic Seed. But I didn't think it was too big of a deal if I lost it, because I still get my Unburden boost. Uh, and then I got to click Power Up Punch. Next potential sash on the area dose. Quick knock off here is when one of the things Blaze Kick would have been helpful, having super effective. The webs would have went up. Same thing here. CC almost killed. Jacob Chan died to a U turn. So at this point, I thought I was in a relatively good circumstance. Uh, I choose still is at full. This is at full. This is at 2% and this is at full, whereas my team's relatively healthy. This took 60%, these three are all at full, this is also at full. And I feel like these two made more than Hitmonlee to my team. Uh, so I, I went off Suna just to get a rapid spin off. I sacked off Scissor, obviously threatening with this with my jump kick technically. He goes in a Sneasel, I knew I took an Ice Punch. Struck crit, you turned out, broke a sash, not that big of a deal. Went into Lele. Took a knockoff, got crit again. Somewhat annoying, but not too big of a deal either. Uh here's Mary Kangas gone. Quick's return, kills Tappy Lele. And then here's where something interesting happened. I did not know that uh parental bond was traceable going into the battle. Oh here. I didn't think I killed a Psychic, I just planned on clicking Psychic, dying to return, and then clicking Earthquake with Doug Trio twice. But, Frontal Bond's a thing, so he died. And so did the Raichu. Apparently these spoons are his babies. As you can tell by the title of this video. Um, so yeah, that was week one. Uh, props to Flame. I don't think there was much he could have done, to be honest. He had a horrible matchup. His team is interesting. I think it'll work better with teams in the future. Yeah, he just had a horrible matchup here. I think most people have a horrible matchup for Psychic Terrain. So it worked out in my favor. So yeah, that's going to do it for this week one matchup. I'll see you guys later. Kukumuku, and I'm out. Peace.